show you all a simple pairing as a mechanical drop set of using just a, basically what I call a parallel ring row. And then we're also going to do what I call a bent, uh, bent ring row. So um, in the parallel ring row, the goal is to get the body basically parallel to the floor and row up, okay? Not too complicated, but in the bent ring row, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that uh, planked out body position, we're gonna bend the knees at 90 degrees. So we're effectively shortening the length of the body and thus making uh, the loading on the body, so to speak, a little bit easier. So for the parallel ring row, what we're gonna do is set the rings at a height where at the lowest position, you can see how I'm, I'm basically parallel, parallel to the floor. So we're holding a nice plank position. bringing myself straight up off from the ground, so to speak. So that would be the more challenging of the two variations I'm showing here today. For the bent ring row, what we're gonna do is we're gonna still keep the concept of being in a planked body position, but we're gonna bend the knees so that they're at a 90 degree angle. So we're kind of in a tabletop position here. And row up. from there. So because we've decreased the overall length of the body, it's all physics. It makes things a little bit easier. So if we're talking a mechanical drop set using these two exercises, we would get a technical failure with a parallel ring row and then hop over without resting in between to the bent ring row, knock out reps there, and then there you have it. That's just a simple pairing as a mechanical drop set that pretty simple to use if you have rings or a suspension trainer. Y'all give that a shot, let me know what you think.